some residents uh, to our ongoing series of uh, letting you know various community organizations. Today with me, Supervisor Dick Thurston, and I have Todd Bowen who works in town hall with us, but also is the uh, upcoming president-elect for our Rotary Club of Wappingers Falls here uh, that meets uh, weekly on Thursdays at Longobardi's. You know, so as we branch out and look at the variety of different organizations that help our community, help our residents, we'll be featuring more uh, guest speakers. Uh, I also uh, have invited our various board you know, representatives, you know, our councilmen and women to also present to us, so I hope that you'll be seeing uh, more of them out into the future. But today, you know, welcome Todd, you Thank know, you. and especially welcome as president-elect. I have been a Rotarian, as you know, for a long time. Uh, and uh, when I had the opportunity to move here and then join the Rotary, Rotary Club to actually, you know, repay a lot uh, to Rotary uh, in service, uh, and it's particularly because they helped me get off on my career. You know, I was the uh, proud recipient uh, when I lived in New Jersey of four, uh, there were four fellowship scholarships that year that New Jersey Rotary District offered and I got a graduate fellowship to uh, go to Taiwan and it was a full uh, scholarship program including room board, tuition fees, airfare and the like. So I, uh, and as a result of that I joined uh, the Rotary Club there and had continued to be a part of Rotary, uh, even when we, my wife and I, moved back to Taiwan. So why don't you just give a little bit of history first of what Rotary is about. I think for this program, and we'll have a second one, for this program we'll talk a little bit about Rotary, Rotary International, what it does, I'll ask you some questions, and then I think the second one we can talk about the local club. Yeah you know, more about uh, what we're doing, some of the programs going forward. So yeah. maybe you can give the viewers, uh, you know, a, a, an overview of what Rotary is as an organization sure. and uh, what, when it was established uh, and uh, what some of its goals, missions, uh, four-way tests, et cetera, sure. are. Sure. sure. Go ahead. So the shortest answer is Rotary is plainly a community service organization. Uh, Rotary International has about 1.2 million members worldwide. Uh, it's full of neighbors, friends, and community leaders uh, who come together to create a positive, lasting change in our communities and around the world. Uh, some history of the Rotary Club of Wappingers Falls. It was chartered on October 12, 1971, so I believe it's been around for 51 years now. Uh, the original club had about 22 members. Uh, now we are up to 23, mm. um, which we'll get into in a minute about membership. Uh, but the, some history about Rotary International is uh, it was founded in 1905 by Paul Harris, by Paul Harris, a Chicago attorney, and uh, the Rotary motto is service above self, uh, which every Rotarian is pledged to take. Uh, each meeting, we're supposed to recite the four-way test. Uh, the four-way test is: uh, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it bring goodwill and better friendships? And will it be beneficial to all concerned? Um, and, and Rotary has maybe how many clubs approximately in the U.S.? Uh, you remember? Uh, that quite a few. That, yeah, uh, that's quite a few. Clubs. For our district, yeah. uh, Rotary Club Wappingers Falls is in District 7210, which has about 52 clubs oh, in good. the district. And in many countries around the world, because uh, back when I uh, first started with Rotary, uh, we had to uh, attend a Rotary meeting every, every week. And if we were away from the Rotary Club, we had to do two things is that we had, well, we had to attend a Rotary meeting wherever we're going, unless like in China, they didn't have Rotary back then. Uh, and then, you know, we needed to bring a flag. I, you know, we have our, yeah. our club flags in there and then usually brought like a little gift because we had an auction, you know, at the Rotary yeah. you know, Club. Yeah, we do the same for Wappingers, uh, makeups. You do makeups by visiting a local club and bringing back a flag of their club or doing Meals on Wheels mm -hmm. or participating in any other events that we host. And we can talk about that, yeah. you know, at the next uh, discussion. So, you know, when you're looking at Rotary, uh, it, 
it practices, believes very much in uh, diversity. Yep. So people from all backgrounds, yep. all businesses, it likes to emphasize, uh, look for yep. small business yep. participation. Maybe you could describe yeah. a little bit of what it yeah, tries so to accomplish. The diversity right now is really big in Rotary. It's a topic that um, they started talking about a while ago, but stopped. But now diversity is so big in today's world. So that's the biggest goal right now. So the Rotary International is bringing it down to the district level, and the district is bringing it to the clubs. Uh, so right now, uh, our Wabinger Falls Rotary Club has a DI rep uh, that's supposed to communicate with the members what the district and the Rotary International is doing um, to get the club members more involved and the club more diverse. And the biggest question they ask, if you meet the requirements of diversity, is does your club represent your community? Right. Yeah, so I think, you know, we... Uh, you know, really, I've seen that you know, work yeah. very well, you know, throughout the world. So it's a, it's a great organization, and we'll talk more about how you become a member, you know, uh, later on. Uh, when you look at Rotary clubs, you know, there's uh, a hierarchy. So how does it work? You said we're in a district, a yeah. specific district, yes. and so you have the Rotary International, which is com compromised of a president, and which actually right now is Jennifer Jones, the first female president of Rotary International. And then they have a board, and then you have the districts, and the district has a district governor mm. and uh, some officers on that. Uh, and then it goes down to the clubs, which is right. president, and then their officers. And uh, right now, our board is, uh, has a president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, sergeant arms, and four board of directors, okay. which actually you're becoming one of them right. on July 1st. Yeah, I was uh, fortunate to be uh, <laughs> elected you know, yeah. in that. Yeah, so, you know, it, but beyond that, you know, anybody can participate at a variety of meetings. And with respect to international, you know, Rotary, there's annual convention yeah. and the get together, sharing yeah. ideas. Of course, I think, you know, Rotary was one of the first major organizations to uh, you know, push for the eradication of polio. Correct. You know, maybe you can mention some of the other programs like that that yeah, it so, does. So, polio is one of the biggest ones uh, that our club focuses on and Rotary. We're looking to see what they're going to do next, uh, Rotary International, because polio was becoming eradicated, um, but all of a sudden there's some cases that are popping up right. now. Yep. The first was in Rockland County uh, and starting to grow. So they are really looking at that, focusing on that more, and vaccination is the key for polio, and right. that's what Rotary International believes. Yeah, and, and they take on other causes, and then yep. They also each year identify it as a year of something. You know, what is this year? Do you remember? <laughs> um, uh, the theme? Yeah, the yeah, theme for this year. This year's Imag Imagine Rotary. Imagine Rotary. Uh, I forgot what next year is like create change together or something. Right. So, you know, it, it, it drives these themes throughout the countries and the, the clubs, the yeah. district and the local clubs that strive to do various programs, uh, charitable yeah. events that help you know, bring that home to the people. Uh, I know that it's been big, like when I was in Taiwan, we're big on uh, bringing up literacy you know, rate. And uh, we also took not just the polio, but other uh, uh, contagious diseases back into the rural communities, the mountainside. So it, it, it's a very, very generous organization on that regard. Uh, so you know, when you look at uh, working with Others, uh, you even go through some training programs, awareness programs, right? You know, yeah. You can describe that. Yeah. Yeah. We. Uh, so there's a ton of courses that Rotarians can take on my right. Rotary. You'll get access to that if you're a member. And there's just, there's so many to mention, but also yeah. Rotary gives you opportunities to take trainings. Like if you're a president elect, sure. you have to do president elect training. Right. You learn about membership, DEI, more involved about what Rotary International is doing. You get really more up to date yeah. information than what you would as a regular yeah. member. Well, thanks, Todd, for giving us that overview and introduction yeah. to Rotary. Uh, we'll, in our next uh, you know, session, you know, we'll talk about the local club and more about what it's doing. But uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you for taking the time today to share with us, with our residents, our audience, about what Rotary is. And we hope, as I said at the beginning, to have more uh, initiatives, you know, have our 
uh, elected officials that would like to appear, you know, to talk more about uh, what they're doing through their various programs. They have a lot that's going on. So thanks Good. again. Thank you. And uh, residents, please, uh, until soon, stay safe and remain.